Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here, then hi, hello, I'm Charlotte, hello, hi, <laughs> don't know why I had to say both of them, um, but yeah, hi, I'm Charlotte, and yeah, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to, um, but today's video is a Topshop denim haul, and it's actually in collaboration with Topshop, which is super, super exciting for me, because I love Topshop, and when they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago to ask if I would like to collaborate on a denim video, I practically bit their hand off to say yes. I was like, yeah, because I have worn Topshop denim since I was about yay high. <laughs> that is definitely an exaggeration, but I've worn Topshop denim for a very long time and I love so many of their denim styles. And in fact, now, since I've done this haul, I love so many more of their denim styles because their denim is Spot on at the moment and I've got quite a few different styles to show you we've got some mum some skinny some straight some ripped black blue gray a little bit of everything so hopefully there will be something for everyone um, but it goes without saying that obviously despite this being a collaboration it will be my honest opinion on all the styles I'm not going to sugarcoat anything hopefully if you watch my channel already you know that I'm going to give you my honest opinion um, but yeah just putting that out there so so you know. Um, but yeah, let's get going with style number one. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a pair of straight jeans because I am loving straight jeans at the moment. And these were probably one of the first styles that I spotted when I was looking on Topshop and just fell in love with everything about them. First of all, the wash of them is gorgeous. I think it's called Authentic, the wash. I will leave all of the styles linked below, along with sizes and washes, so that you know exactly which one I'm speaking about. Um, but yeah, love the wash of them. I love the colour of that denim. And then it's got these rips going all the way down it, which again, is really cool. They've got the rip on the side, and then both knees are kind of really heavily ripped. And then at the bottom, they kind of just look like they've sort of been snipped at the front. And at the back, they've got all the distressing of the ripped as well. So it sort of frays up and looks really cool from behind as well. The fit of these are perfect as well. They fit the waist really nicely. They nip in really well and don't leave any sort of gap at the back that you can sometimes get with high-waisted jeans. And then they're quite snug around the bottom and the thigh. Not too snug, but just nicely fitted. And then they go straight down from the knee into like a straight fit. I think they'll look lovely coming into spring, summer, worn with trainers or sandals. But then in the same breath, I think they're also great this time of year, worn with ankle boots and like a long sort of duster coat as well. And yeah, perfect for autumn and winter as well. Just a really great all rounder. And I think I will get a ton of wear out of these. I actually ripped the labels off as soon as they arrived and wore them that day because I love them so much. So yeah. Definitely one of my favourites. Okay, so if you love the style and the fit of the last ones, but that over sort of destroyed ripped denim isn't really for you, then these might be a little bit more up your street. And these are the same straight style of jeans, but in this really gorgeous sort of classic blue wash. Much like the last ones, these ones fit really well on the waist, they're nice and snug, and then again, they're nice and fitted on the thigh and bottom area. Not tight, but just nicely fitted, and then they go down into a straight leg with the kind of cut finish on the bottom as well, just to give a really simple, classic look. I feel like these are a really great starting point for a straight jean. If, like me, you've been wearing skinny jeans for many years, and now you're sort of venturing back into the straights and the mums, um, then yeah, these are just a great starting point. They're very clean, very sort of like not too much detail going on on the back or on the front for that matter. Um, just a really clean finish and just a really lovely starting point for like a basic straight jean. Okay, and then the final pair of straight jeans I've got to show you are these beautiful sort of washed grey jeans. And they are a new style of denim at Topshop. They are called the Editor and they are a high rise cropped straight leg jean. I actually originally spotted these ones in the bleach wash online. I will pop a little picture up because they are beautiful, um, but they sold out in a lot of sizes. In fact, they sold out really quickly because I did have them in my basket and then they were gone. Um, so yeah, they are really lovely. Um, but then I spotted these gray ones and thought, actually, they're really cool as well. Again, I love the fact that these are a really clean finish at the back and at the front. 
Um, there's not too much detail going on. Instead of a zipper, these ones have actually got buttons running all the way down. If I just undo the top one, so you can kind of see they've got the buttons running down. Um, so it might take a few extra seconds when you need to go to the toilet, but apart from that, uh, you can't really tell when they're done up. You wouldn't be able to see the buttons. Um, so yeah, again, a really nice, simple finish. They are a low stretch jean, so as you can see, there's not a lot of give in them if I pull them, um, but I actually prefer that for a straight jean, or for a mum jean for that matter, because they just give a kind of cleaner, crisper look, and I don't know, I don't know about you, I just feel like they look better when they've not got that elastic in them, in that style of jean. But yeah, really cool pair of jeans, and I will be keeping my eye out for when these come back into stock in the bleach wash, so... If they are back, I will leave them linked below, and if not, then I'll pop them up on my Instagram when they are back in stock. I'll leave my Instagram up there, um, and yeah, I'll let you know when they are back in stock, because they are so cool. Okay, moving on to skinny jeans, because despite all of the amazing straight and mum and boyfriend jeans there are about at the moment, I still feel like you cannot go wrong with a good pair of skinny jeans, and especially a pair of black skinny jeans. Which takes me on to the Topshop Jamie Jean. And if you don't already know about these, then where have you been? <laughs> but no, seriously, I feel like everybody owns, or at least knows someone that owns, a pair of Topshop Jamie Jeans. They are super high-waisted, which for me is perfect in a skinny jean. I love the fact that they nip you in at your smallest place, and they just make your waist look nice and small, but then give you a nice bit of shape to kind of the hips and the bottom as well. Where they've got a lot of stretch, they're just very flattering on the bottom, they don't squash anything. I think sometimes a skinny jean, when it hasn't got enough elastic in it, can give you that sort of flat bottom look, whereas these definitely don't give that. They do give a really, a really good shape on the booty. Um, and again, very fitted all the way down the leg, even down to the ankle, where they sort of hug your ankle nicely as well. I also love the fact that they stay really black as well. I've washed these a good few times, and they're still very black, and the denim is really, really soft on these as well. Honestly, I feel like if you do need a new pair of black skinny jeans, then the Topshop Jamie jeans are just a really great all-rounder that I just wear all the time. Okay, sticking with Jamie jeans because they are one of my favourite styles of Topshop jeans. And because I love my black ones so much, I decided to order these blue ones for this video. And these are the blue Jamie jeans in a mid-blue wash with the ripped hem. And I decided to go for these ones because I don't actually own any blue Jamie jeans, which is surprising because like I said, I love the black ones. So I thought I'd give these a go. And when I slipped them on when they arrived, they did not disappoint. They fit perfectly. Literally around the waist they fit amazingly, on the hips and the bottom. They're super flattering. They give a really lovely shape, probably more so than the black ones do because they're blue. They tend to make your bottom look a little bit I don't know, they just give a bit more shape than sometimes black does, because black's obviously very slimming. Love the finish of them as well. I love that kind of ripped hem at the bottom. I think they finish at a perfect length on the leg. Again, I got these in a size 26, 32, and I am five foot six, so if that kind of helps at all. I put them on some nude heels for the try-on clips, and I think they work really well with heels, but I also think I will probably wear these quite a lot with trainers during the day, and like a little t-shirt, or leather jacket, or a blazer. Um, I just think they're a really versatile pair of blue jeans, and again, they are extremely comfortable. Okay, moving on to another very popular style of Topshop skinny jean, and another one that has been around for many moons, and it is the Topshop Joni Jean. Well, I say Joni, I was talking about them the other day to someone, and I was saying Joni, and they were saying Johnny. Um, so, I don't know, you tell me. Joni, Johnny? Tomato, tomato? <laughs> I'll go with Joni for this video, but um, do correct me if I'm wrong. I would say that these Joni jeans are verging on more like the jegging side of denim. Um, they have got a lot of stretch in them, as you can see. They, they've got loads of giving them, so they're super comfortable, super, super soft. Um, and they are 69% cotton, 26% polyester, and 5% elastine. So they've got a lot more give in them, um, but they are also super, super comfortable. So you could wear these all day and not get that feeling, you know, when you need to sort of undo your belt and think, ah. Oh. The only thing I would say about these ones is that they don't have belt loops. So if you do like to wear a belt with your jeans, then these definitely won't be for you. 
but I do know that some of the Joni jeans do come with belt loops. So I'll try and link both options below, um, but this wash in particular doesn't have the belt loops on it. But apart from that, they are a fantastic pair of super comfortable, stretchy, skinny jeans. And then the final pair of skinny jeans that I just wanted to show you really quickly are the Sydney jeans. And I actually ordered these just to try out for this video because I've never tried Sydney jeans before. In fact, I don't think I'd even heard of Topshop Sydney jeans before this video. So I thought I would give them a go. And they are a mid-rise, skinny, sort of stretch jean. And I do like them. I think they are nice, but I will not be keeping these simply for a couple of reasons. First off, they are a mid-rise, and personally, I prefer a high-rise on a skinny jean. I just like the way they sit at your waist. That's just a personal preference. Um, so for me, I would rather have these slightly high-waisted. And as far as the wash goes, personally, I prefer the blue of the Jamie jean. I prefer the way it's a little bit darker. Um, yeah, just more my cup of tea. So I thought I'd slip these on anyway to show you for this video so you can kind of see how the Sydney style of jeans fit. If like me, you were kind of a little bit like, oh, not heard of them, Let's give them a go. Okay, moving on to mum jeans because I feel like everyone is loving the mum jean at the moment, including myself. And I have got a few pairs to show you here. Um, but I'm gonna start off with a pair that you may recognize from a Topshop haul I filmed a few months ago and they are these bleached mum jeans. And I actually ordered these ones in the waist 26, length 34, which wouldn't be my usual size. I'd usually go for a leg 32, but they sold out when I ordered them. So I went for the leg 34, and they are just a kind of like high rise, tapered leg with a roll up at the bottom. So I thought, well actually, if they're a little bit too long, I can just give them an extra roll. And that is what I've done. But I would say that these ones in the bleach wash come up a little bit on the large side. I don't know if it's just because I've worn them a lot and so they've sort of given in time, but I would probably, given the option, size down to a waist 25 in these and a leg 32. Um, so yeah, they, they run slightly on the large side. The only thing I do find with these ones is that they can be a little bit tricky to get into sometimes. So I, if I just undo them and show you, I sometimes struggle with like that width of that area there, trying to get it up and like wriggle into it over my sort of hips and bottom. I, I sort of have to hitch it up and then once it's over, we're fine. But I think it's because they've got like zero stretch in them. They are 100% cotton, so they haven't got any elastane in them. And actually, I usually wear these with a belt as well, just to pull them a little bit more on the waist and make them slightly tighter. Um, but then I do think mum jeans do look really cool worn with a belt anyway. And because I love those mum jeans so much and wear them so often, I decided to order another couple of pairs for this video. And first up is this pair of extreme washed black mum jeans. And again, like the other ones, these are 100% cotton, so they've got no elastane in them. So again, they're very stiff. When I first put these on, I was a bit like, oh, okay, they're quite, yeah, quite stiff and quite rigid. But actually, again, I quite like the fact that they're rigid. And I think once they've been worn a few times, they'll sort of wear in really nicely and kind of wear to your figure. I ordered these ones in my usual size, which is a 2632, and I actually prefer the fit of these ones because they are obviously shorter on the legs, so they just roll up once at the bottom, and I just think that looks a little bit neater and a bit cleaner, and yeah, I just prefer them like that. But yeah, I love the fact that these are in this washed black denim, and I think they look really cool, worn, nice and casual during the day with sort of like trainers and a little white t-shirt and maybe a leather jacket, or I think they'd also look really great of an evening with like a belt to sort of cinch them in and maybe a body tucked in and some heels and dressed up a little bit more. And then the final pair of mum jeans that I am loving are these bleached ones that are ripped at the bottom. So as you can see, they're quite simple all the way up and then at the bottom, they've just got this distressing going on at the ankles that I just really, really like. Um, these were actually called a bleach stone wash and so are the other pair that I showed you, the first pair. But as you can see, they're definitely not the same bleached wash. These look a lot more blue and a bit more like vintagey. They kind of remind me a bit of a pair of kind of vintage Levi's, um, but love that wash. I just think that's really, really cool. Um, and actually I prefer the fit of these ones. Again, I think they fit better than the first pair that I showed you, obviously because these are more my size. Again, I love the fact that these ones are high-waisted as well. So they nip you in nicely at the waist, but then give a really nice sort of shape 
on the bottom and the hips as well and kind of accentuate your curves a little bit. And I know these are fairly similar to the first pair of mum jeans that I showed you, but I do think that I will get a lot of wear out of these coming into sort of spring, summer, worn with sandals or trainers or even sort of dressed up on a night out, I think they'd look really cool. And if you would like to see a video of how I would style up some of these jeans, um, whether that's sort of during the day or in the evening, then do let me know and I will make sure I film something like that. Um, but yeah, love them. Okay, so that's all of the jeans, but I've also got a couple of pieces of denim to show you um, that aren't jeans. And first up is the item that I am wearing today for this video. And an item that I am very much in love with, it is this denim boiler suit. And I spotted this online when I was looking for the jeans and just sort of like, it caught my eye and I thought, mm, am I cool enough to pull off a denim boiler suit? Probably not, but let's give it a go. But when it arrived a couple of days ago and I tried it on, I just instantly loved it. Like I was going out for dinner that night with Lou's sisters and his cousin and I wore it out that night. I was like, well, wow, I can't, like, as soon as I put it on, I was like, I've got to wear this tonight, I love it. And all three of them were like, I need that, I need that boiler suit. <laughs> so yeah, I am very glad I opted for it because I just love it. I popped it on this skinny black waist belt today because it did need to be pulled in a little bit at the waist. It was a little bit too sort of straight and boxy without the waist belt. And I do wish that it came with like a denim belt so that it all stayed the same colour rather than wearing it with black. Um, but I think I just kind of need to like play around and maybe try out a different belt and that might work a little bit better. Like I said, I wore it out the other night with black ankle boots and it looked amazing, if I do say so myself. Um, but no, it just looked really cool. I felt really cool. You know, when you're kind of like wearing something a bit different and you're like, yeah, do you know what? I feel good. Um, so I think it works really well like that. But I also think in the summer or the spring, it would look really cool with like little trainers or pumps or loafers. Um, yeah, I do think that I will get an awful lot of wear out of this one as the year goes on. So I'm really excited with this jumpsuit. It, it does, it excites me. <laughs> and then last but not least is this blue oversized denim jacket. And I don't actually own a simple plain blue denim jacket like this. Um, and I always see other girls wearing them and I always think it looks really cool when they're sort of a little bit oversized, worn over dresses in the summer or with skinny jeans or, well, I don't know, they're just a really versatile piece, aren't they? I actually ordered this one in a size UK 6 because it said it was oversized and I thought, if it's already oversized, I don't then want to size up and it be, it drown me sort of thing. Um, but actually, I think it's the perfect size in a UK 6. I also really like the wash of it as well. It's nice and bright and blue, but not too bleached. Um, so yeah, a lovely denim jacket and just a great staple piece to have in my wardrobe. Okay, so that's everything for my Topshop denim haul. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful and informative and it gave you an idea of how a lot of these jeans look and fit and feel on. Um, but if I did miss anything out, then do leave a comment below and I will make sure I get back to you. Also, when I was shopping on the Topshop website, I spotted so many lovely pieces that were not denim that I was very tempted to order. I did actually order a few bits, um, but there's also a few more bits in my basket as well. So if you would like to see a Topshop haul that isn't denim, that's just other bits, um, then do leave a comment and let me know because it will give me that little extra push to order those few extra bits as well. Um, I'll have an excuse then. Uh, so yeah, if you would like to see that, then leave a comment and let me know and I will get that filmed. And I'll also probably pair up a lot of these jeans with the items that I'll be ordering. So it'll kind of work both ways. You'll see how I'll style some of these and then see the new bits as well. Look at my hands dancing everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Goodbye.